The Burley County Highway Department is concerned more of the hillside along the road could collapse. Daniel Burbank has been following this story since yesterday's landslide and he joins us from the scene. Daniel? Monica, I'm on River Road and it is still closed. I'll step out. Just take a look behind me that uh, there's still the landslide covering the road. The Burley County Highway Department says it won't be open for Christmas and it could be days or even weeks before the road reopens. But in the Geologists, city and Burley County engineers were on the scene examining the landslide that covered the 3900 block of River Road. After a near record rain of precipitation, engineers believe that could be a factor in Sunday's slide. We had about a foot of snow yet up on the top of this particular slope, but on the slope itself, it's all it's all melted off. So that moisture had to go someplace. Now, state geologists with the Department of Mineral Resources says the soil type could make the repair process difficult. You're limited as to what you can do. Then you've got to look at repairing the upper part of the slope above the roadway. Uh, and where you can buttress it to try to uh, prevent gravity from pulling that material back down. Murphy says the team is using the latest drone technology to take aerial survey data for the county. County engineers say they're looking at different repair options but are waiting until Thursday because the soil is still shifting. I would rather be safe than sorry on this particular situation and so we'll keep it closed until we're safe that we can uh, we're comfortable with the fact that we can get in there and remove that material. Hall reiterates that no one was injured in the collapse and no private property was damaged or is in danger at this time. And they say because of the size and complexity of this slide, repair costs and cleanup costs could reach $1 million. Live on River Road in Bismarck, Daniel Burbank reporting for your news leader.